Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video, we're going to solve this interesting algebra problem. We have a cube plus a equal to 350. And we need to we need to solve it, we need to find our a. How can we do this? There are a lot of approaches. How can we do this? There are a lot of formulas. How can we do this? But I'm going to show you my approach, how I do this. a cube plus a and minus 350. Let's start with it. Let's bring this 350 on the left hand side. And right now it's really good to to see about this 350 because it's really good to write this 350 as 343 and minus 7 or plus 7 with parentheses. Let's do this. Let's write as plus 7 and with parentheses. So like that. And a cube plus a. So I hope you understand this I hope you understand this step because right now I'm going to, to open these parentheses and as a result we'll have a cube plus a and minus 3 for 3 minus 7 equal to 0. So I hope you understand this step. But why I write this as 350 like that? Because I'm pretty sure that you don't know about this 343. It's really good number because this number uses this 7 as well because 343 is equal to 7 cube. And moreover, with this cube, we will be able to, to get a formula right here. So let's start with this 7 cube minus 7 equal to 0. And of course, right here, a cube plus a and minus this. So I hope you understand this. I hope you understand this step. And right now, it's really good to group these cubes and these no cubes. A cube with this 7 cube and a with this, with this 7. So if you group this, we will have the next a cube minus 7 cube and of course plus a minus 7. We can get it in parentheses, but I don't want to do this writing like that. So a minus 7. And what we're going to do next? Of course, difference of cubes. We need to know a formula. Formula difference of cubes a cube minus b cube. It will be equal to a minus b and times a square plus b square and plus ab. So this is our formula that we need right here. And if we apply this formula, if we use this formula right here, we will have a minus b, so a minus 7, a minus 7, and in another parentheses, a square plus 49 and plus 7a. So this is our formula, a cube minus b cube, but right here we have as well a minus 7. So plus a minus 7 equal to equal to 0. So as you can see right now, a minus 7 and a minus 7, it will be really good to factor out this a minus 7. So if we factor out factor in this a minus 7, we will have in, in another parentheses this parentheses a square plus 49 and plus 7a and plus 1 from here, plus 1 equal to equal to 0. And Moreover, it's really good because right now we have a product of two parentheses, so we can easily write that a minus 7 equal to 0, and from here a equal to 7 will be our will be our answer to this equation. But moreover, we can find another answer, another solutions to here, because we have third power, so we will have no more than 3 root. So let's solve it another equation. a square plus 7a and plus 50 will be our equation. Let's solve it real quick. This is a classic quadratic equation, so a equal to 1 with this a, but doesn't matter. I hope you understand why I write this, this a and this a, b equal to 7 and c equal to equal to 50. And if we put all these values in our formula, we will have that our a 2 and 3, so both second and third, we will have minus 7 plus minus square root b square minus 4ac. So b square 49 minus 4ac, so minus 200. And all over, all over too. And right now I see that these values inside this square root sign will be negative. So as a result, we'll have negative roots, complex roots. Sorry, complex roots, minus 7 plus minus square root minus 151 with, with the minus sign and dividing by 2. Or moreover, we can write it in another way because we know that it will be equal to minus 7 plus minus square root of minus 1 and times square root 151. So I hope you understand this step. I just bring this 
minus 1 in, in this square root sign and I leave this 151 as you can see right here but square root of minus 1 will be equal to will be equal to i so as a result we'll have our final answer two complex roots with the plus and with the minus sign we will have minus 7 plus minus square root 151 i and dividing by 2 this is our complex roots this is our complex root and of course if you're interested in real number root we'll have right here real number real number root a equal to 7 we can check it real quick we will have 7 cube plus 7 equal to 350 which is good because we already know that 343 equal to 7 cube and moreover 343 plus 7 will be equal to 350 which is absolutely correct so our answer answer a equal to a equal to 7 a equal to 7 and if you're interested of course in complex number you will have two more complex roots thank you so much for watching subscribing i really appreciate it and if you enjoyed please subscribe on my channel for more videos and see you in the next videos